Eight of Cups. And then underneath the Eight of Cups is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords does represent, can represent communication. But in this case, the Queen of Swords is representing communication that is not up for debate. She's, she's spitting straight facts. The, the energy of the Queen of Swords is very like, don't waste my time. So if you are in the point, at the point of communicating something to somebody else, again, it's on a need to know basis, or it's in a, a form that is just strictly not up for debate. Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for March of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's My name is Eric and it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to March. I hope you guys are having a good year so far. Yeah, we are almost over with the first quarter of the year which is somewhat exciting, except for the fact that we have to file taxes, but we don't have to talk about that, right? Um, so uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, please don't hesitate to email me, uh, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All the information can be found in the description box below, including some of the readings that I offer. So check that out and email me, I'll get you all set up. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, yeah, patreon.com backslash divine conversations we do uh, daily readings over there we do bi-weekly uh, bi-weekly twin flame readings and bi-weekly inner masculine inner feminine readings for those of us that are working on really balancing and integrating and harmonizing our inner masculine and inner feminine readings yes especially for those of us on a twin flame journey um yeah so check me out there so for this month capricorn um since this is saint patrick's month or we have St. Patrick's Day this month, I decided to close out our readings to and get uh, oracle guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck. I haven't used it. In, it's been years since I've used it, so I'm, I'm really happy to be using it again. And then our tarot is coming from the Mystical Manga Tarot this month. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Absolutely one of my favorites. Yes? All right, Capricorn. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. As I was connecting with your energy, I was starting to see a light blue color. Um, and to me, that was what that was saying is a need for self-expression. It was very much like a sky blue. Um, and then as I was shuffling, the cards were coming out here and the very first card that came out was the Ten of Swords. So it seems that something is coming to an end for you here. Um, coupled with that is the sun. So there is something that you are being, that's something that's being illuminated for you, something that you're uh, a greater awareness that you're getting or some, so it's very similar to what I was just saying to Virgo about how they have a change in perspective or, oh no, no, it wasn't Virgo, it was Taurus. Taurus was, their message was you reached a level of understanding of something and now it's time to let it go. For you, Capricorn, yes, I do feel like you're ready to let this go. But specifically, I feel like you've been you've been meditating or focusing on this for a while. Okay, really, a four of swords, ace of pentacles, really trying to get to an understanding about what it is you need to do for yourself, whether it is you're trying to start like a new business or something, or really just go in a new direction in whatever way that means for you. I feel like you've really been taking a lot of time to understand what it is you needed to understand either about this new opportunity, this new offer, or this new direction, um, or whether to go in that direction at all or not, whether to take advantage of setting something up, setting something new up for yourself, right? To, to clarify that even more, you have the Ace of Cups here, which is talking about self-love, um, unconditional love, and I'm also hearing understanding to the Star and the Ten of Pentacles. So ultimately right now, Capricorn, your overall message so far, just in your pre-shuffle, is talking about... Um, what, Eric? What is it talking about, Eric? It's it's talking about the fact that something has come to a close for you, and now you're ready to start moving in a new direction. Follow your dreams more. You may be more connected to your dreams right now, more connected to um, a sense of who you truly are, actually, is what I just heard. that, And that all comes from this self-love that is flowing for you right now. And then at the bottom of the deck for you, I was literally going to say chorus. I don't know why. Capricorn is the page of wands. So starting a new creative reality, a new creative project, or re-identifying yourself. But ultimately, Capricorn, I really do feel like you're ready to speak up about this now. 
you either have sufficient information or a sufficient understanding within yourself, a sufficient, I don't know, like, so, a, so, it's, it's solid enough within you to the point that now you're ready to, or it's necessary for you to start speaking up, to bring some sort of ending to a closing cycle that may have been really difficult for you, yeah, with that ten of swords. All right, Capricorn. Um, let me give this one reset shuffle, and we'll get into the rest of this here, yeah? All right, Capricorn. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the general energies for Capricorn in terms of the month of March of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, five shuffles here for you. One. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. This is two. This is three. This is four. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is five. Okay. Cut the deck. Boop. All right, Capricorn. Overall energy. We have the Knight of Cups. I feel like what it is you're dealing with right now is coming from a place of being true to your own heart. You may have gone through a heart chakra awakening. You may have done some strong or serious heart chakra cleansing and healing. And now, I, again, I just feel like you're ready to speak up about it. Or at least, at the very least, you're ready to take some sort of action, conscious action in terms of the direction that your heart is leading you towards. Underneath the Knight of Cups is the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this Queen of Wands is talking about your alignment. I feel like you've been, you potentially may have been working on being receptive for a while, um, having some sort of inspiration that you didn't know exactly how to deal with or how to speak about or even how to go about handling it. And I feel like you've been in this energy of just allowing yourself to be receptive, to understand what it is you needed to understand about this so that you could finally move forward. Eight of Cups. And then underneath the Eight of Cups is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords does represent, can represent communication. But in this case, the Queen of Swords is representing communication that is not up for debate. Okay. She's, she's spitting straight facts. And she's kind of, the, the energy of the Queen of Swords is very like, don't waste my time. So what she may be communicating right now or what you may feel the need or what is necessary for you to communicate right now is strictly on a need to know basis. Um, I just said this to Virgo, but like you don't have to justify anything to anybody. The only person you need to have justification within is yourself. Okay, so if you are in the point at the point of communicating something to somebody else, again, it's on a need to know basis or it's in a it's in a way at a it's it's in a, a form that is just strictly not up for debate. Okay? I mean, I'll let you know what's going on, but like don't think you're going to try and change my mind or convince me to go in a different direction because quite frankly, and and I don't even feel like you're trying to be too harsh about this, but it really is just straight facts. Like it's not up for debate because you have done so much work on yourself or in your own time to come to an understanding that you needed for your own self to be comfortable with this, or at least to allow the cat out of the bag, or at least to allow yourself, however reluctantly you may be, allow yourself move in this new direction or walk away from something. 
All right. Ooh. All right, Capricorn. So first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, you got the Ace of Wands, Capricorn. Yep. There's that inspiration right there. And, I, and honestly, no matter how... There may be some reluctance going on here within you, but again, I feel like you've taken a sufficient amount of time to get to the point where any sort of reluctance that may still be within you is not really holding you back any longer. I feel like you're more excited or you're more prepared or ready to move forward with this inspiration, this drive, this new creative project or this new direction, this new path you want to move in instead of allowing the reluctance to hold you back much any longer. Uh, you may, some of you actually may even be chomping at the bit to like get going here, which may, which may be driving some of that Queen of Swords energy. Just be careful of that. Don't be too hasty, okay? Ace of Wands is coupled with, whoa, all right, the tower. There you go. There you go. So something has sufficiently come to an end. There was a sufficient amount of destruction or there was a sufficient amount of change in reality that is now allowing you to move forward with some sort of inspiration. Now, also, this Ace of Wands and Tower could even be you communicating about something or something that you want to do, a new project, a new direction, whatnot, whatever, and that's creating massive change around you. Ultimately, it's for, the good, it's for a good reason, or it's a good thing, Capricorn. I want you to keep that in mind. Ultimately, it's a good thing. But that doesn't mean it's not going to come with its difficulties. The tower is, is a difficult energy to deal with a lot of the time, but ultimately it's a good thing, all right? There is always a silver lining when the tower strikes or when the tower is struck, okay? Something needs to come to an end. Something needs to fall. Something needs to be removed so that the space that it was occupying can be now occupied by the new, okay? That ultimately is always the silver lining. Of course, there's always the possibility with the tower that you could end up just rebuilding that same structure only for the universe to come around and smack it down again. <laughs> but that's life, right? That's humanity. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We have the Ace of Swords, Capricorn. And what I kind of want to say with this Ace of Swords is that you, I mean, like, there's no denying this any longer. You can't unsee this. You can't unknow this. You can't go back to sleep. Okay? Truth, knowledge, wisdom, that's what's driving you forward here. So if you have some people that are questioning you, all you have to do is rely on the straight facts. Even if they don't want to accept it, that's their problem. And quite frankly, that could very well be what this tower is representing here. I feel like Capricorn, either you need to, or you're about to communicate some truth to somebody that is, n that's going to set you free is what I just heard. But I was also going to say that they may not be very happy about. Sorry about it. Ace of Swords is coupled with the Hanged Man. There you go. There is that change in perspective that you had needed. Uh, Capricorn, straight up and down, you got the you got the knowledge. You got the change in perspective. You need you saw what you need to saw. You uh, see. You understand what you needed to understand. You got it. So move forward with it. Okay. Your challenge, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, is the Seven of Wands. Holding your boundaries. These are the pe this is this is people coming at you saying, but what about this? But what about that? But what about this? But what about that? And you can't do this and this, that, and map, 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 map. I'm sorry, what I wasn't paying attention. Because really you can't change my mind about this. That's what the Seven of Wands is saying. So for you guys, some of you may actually have some trouble holding your boundaries here, but that's your challenge right now. Stay committed to what it is you are feeling a sense of conviction towards, okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. Because ultimately, Capricorn, well, first of all, this is you, okay? Other than the devil, the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles represents Capricorn energy because queens are the cardinal energies and Capricorn is a cardinal energy. Okay, fine. But ultimately, Capricorn, the reason why you are needing to hold your boundaries here is because whatever it is you become aware of, whatever new direction you want to move in, whatever truth you have to communicate right now, it's in service of maintaining your sense of livelihood, maintaining your sense of self, self-worth and value. 
ultimately what this feels like here is mama knows best. So ultimately what you're needing to hold your uh, 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 boundaries against is what you know, not your mother. What you know is best for you. Okay. I didn't say mama knows best to confirm that somebody's mother knows what's right here. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Capricorn is you know what's best for you. And that's why you need to hold your boundaries here. That's why you need to communicate something to somebody or maybe even a group of people. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading is of a sun. Beautiful. Awareness. Uh, silver linings. Okay. Um, bright, shining awareness. Happiness. Fulfillment. Uh, good is to come of this. No matter what it may look like on the surface or right now, especially with this tower energy, ultimately the sun will shine. Uh, the sun is coupled with the nine of pentacles. There you go, Capricorn, standing on your own, being able to think about your, be, being able to think for yourself, a free thinker, an independent individual, self, uh, uh, self-worth intact, okay, even self-made. Even if this looks like a dark situation for you, ultimately, it's going to turn out in your best, for your best interest, okay? No matter what it looks like right now, the sun will shine. This will ultimately be one of the best things for you. You just gotta let go and go with the flow is what I just heard. All right, Capricorn? Okay, let's get into the second half of your reading here. Excuse me. All right, first set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, is the Nine of Cups. And the first thing that comes to mind with this, Capricorn, is where does your satisfaction lie? What makes you happy? I feel like some of you may be coming out of a situation in which you are trying to please others. Upkeep for someone else's sake. But where does your happiness and contentment and fulfillment, even if it's like the, the smallest things, where does that lie, Capricorn? That was the first thing I wanted to ask you when that Nine of Cups came out. Nine of Cups is coupled with the, the Six of Wands. Look at that. That's victory. So in you, in terms of you holding your boundaries, in terms of you communicating some sort of truth that you come to an awareness of within yourself, Capricorn, that is bringing you a victory because it's it's it it might seem like a small victory it might seem to some people it may look like they may look at you and be like how is what you just fought against and what you got out of it so worth it well what makes it worth it capricorn is how you feel so what you may value on a physical 3D monetary, uh, monetary basis, what you may find satisfaction in, what others may call like the smallest things, like is that really worth it? Of course it's worth it because you're happy, because you're satisfied, because you're content, because you feel free. That's what brings you a victory here. So that's why no, no matter what somebody may, saying to, may be saying to you about the fact that, oh, I can't believe this, all of that was worth this. Okay, I mean, sorry, but also at the same time, not sorry. I, again, Capricorn, you don't have to justify anything to anybody other than your own self. And if this is crossing a bridge or you know, crossing into a realm of extreme selfishness, then you might want to rein it in a little bit. But I really don't feel like at the core of what we're talking about here, I don't feel like that's what's happening. Okay, I feel like this is you finally placing focus on what it is you truly find fulfilling. Even if it's just on a mundane level, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you've got the Two of Swords. Keep your blinders on. And you know what? You know what, Capricorn? Let's go ahead and play one of your favorite games. Let's play Devil's Advocate here, okay? If they can keep their blinders on 
and 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 refuse refuse to see something from your point of view why the hell should you give them that luxury i'm just saying why who gets depleted at that point you or them so keep your blinders on they want to shit they want to get a case of the ass and not see things your way or not even try to see things your way that's fine ain't nothing stopping you right I mean, they're not physically holding you back, are they? Maybe they are. Let yourself, free yourself from that. Don't allow them to. I'm not saying get violent, but like, again, you don't have to justify anything to anybody other than your own self. Two of swords is coupled with the hermit, the hermit, the hermit. The hermit. Why? Because, like I said, just like they can keep their blinders on, so can you. But see, you're in a place of power here, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, because what you're keeping your blinders on is in defense of your own truth. What the realization that you have come to. Okay. That's why you're keeping your blinders on. You're not keeping your blinders on because you're being selfish and egotistical and want what you want and you're just going to get it whenever you want it like the king of wands. No, that quite frankly, that sounds like someone else that might be trying to de deny or disregard what it is you have to say. But the, tr the fact of the matter is what it is you have to say or whatever change is coming your way or whatever change you're trying to implement is coming from a place of self-awareness, Capricorn. And nobody can take that away from you, no matter what they say or do, okay? Big on with your bad self, Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> your challenge here in the second half of your reading, Capricorn, is the Four of Cups, reluctance. Reluctance to move forward. Again, I also feel like this might be the reluctance of someone else. Maybe this is an unrequited love, unre uh, yeah, an unrequited love situation in which... Um, you know, you and your partner are not really vibing or not really flowing or you're trying to make some changes, do some improvements, do some soul growth, and they're just not having it. If that's the case, Capricorn, don't fight for that any longer. Don't fight for them. Don't fight for the relationship. Instead, fight for yourself. The Four of Cups is coupled with the Chariot. No matter what they're doing, do not allow yourself to give in to a sense of reluctance and denial. Keep moving forward. Do not let this Four of Cups energy stop you. Do not let someone else's refusal to see what it is you have seen within your life, to accept or hear what it is you have to say, do not allow that to stop you from moving forward. Because quite frankly, either you, Capricorn, or this, maybe this is for the cross watcher, but somebody here has a sense of internal clarity that is setting the record straight for them, that is getting them in alignment with themselves, and is driving them forward, period. No matter what anyone says or else says or does. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading, you have the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Confusion, options. I feel like this is a happy thing for you, Capricorn. I feel like now that you are, you have come to this awareness, maybe he even have spoken this truth if you haven't, if you've done so, if you haven't done so already, that's fine. But I feel like having come to this deeper awareness within yourself, Capricorn, it's opening up a bunch of different avenues for you, a bunch of different doors for you, or it's just, it's making possibilities, different possibilities be known, come into your awareness. Seven of Cups is coupled with... Ooh, the Seven of Swords. But again, I don't think this is a bad thing. Okay, well, it's uh, for some of you, you may have a lot of... Oh, sorry, I almost dipped out of the whole frame there. You may have a lot of options in front of you in terms of how you're moving forward or what this new chapter is bringing for you. Keep that to yourself. You don't got to let anybody know. That's not for them to know. That's none of their business. 
quite frankly, it's none of their business. But also, for some of you, there could be some people around you that are throwing all kinds of smoke and mirrors in your way. Okay? That are trying to... That, okay, so if this is if this is for a relationship, Capricorn, or a cross watcher, um, somebody here may be trying to convince you to stay. Somebody may be trying to convince you to go about things the 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 the, the same old way. Or I just feel like somebody might be throwing up all these different options to get you to not go with what it is you know you truly need to go with. It's, it's deceptive, honey. It's a lie. I promise you, should you honor them and do things their way, I bet you, I'll bet you that y'all get into it, y'all start doing something, and then like before you know it, you're right back where you started. Don't let somebody confuse you, okay? Stay here. Stay in this queen of swords. This, this might even be a divorce, y'all. Because the Queen of Swords is that divorcee, that that recently uh, broken up energy that's been been through some shit, and she gets very cutthroat because she's been hurt, and she's not looking to be in that position any longer. Regardless of what this is for you here, Capricorn, stay in this Queen of Swords energy. Straight facts. This is not up for debate, and do not let somebody confuse you into making a different decision for yourself. Okay. Ultimately, it's time to walk away from something. All right, Capricorn, let's close this out for you here. We're going to get five shuffles on the Oracle deck and get you a closing Oracle message. Yes, one. Two. Three. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of, Mar month of March 2021. This is four. And this is five. All right, Capricorn. Closing Oracle guidance for you. There it is right there. You have card number seven, the green witch. Fresh, new, and spring. Which is funny because we're going into spring this month, aren't we? Hey, look at that. All right. Card number seven. Now, seven is a number of wisdom. Okay. Knowledge, understanding, truth, and seeking. And I feel like, yeah, there's definitely a level of wisdom that you've come to that really may not have been very easy to, to, to assimilate or ac accumulate. All right. Don't deny yourself of that. If you've really been doing a lot of serious work in trying to understand an element of your life or understand yourself, do not ever let anybody discredit you and try and take that away from you, okay? You worked hard for that shit. You deserve it. When you are pure of heart, the whole world is full of potential. And this is the message from the innocent green witch to you. She is green as in the fresh new shoot from the seed pushing urgently towards the sun. She is green and connected to the earth, flowing with the cycles of nature. She is green in that she looks as much to the natural world for company, friendship, and fulfillment as you currently do to fellow humans. She is your reminder to begin to reconnect to the wild green world, to the fairy forest forests all about you. To go back to a place where you're, you empty yourself of expectations and stories and knowledge and just admit that in some circumstances and at some times, you are as a babe. You are newborn. And in that moment of unknowingness and of admitting and embracing your own powers of renewal, you can finally learn that it is you. Oh, I'm sorry. You can finally learn what it is you are here to learn. Be not so certain or so experienced that this card come, when this card comes to you. Be new. Be fresh. Be unwise. Be unknowing. Be innocent. And then the new cycle can truly begin. Mike drop, Capricorn. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, check out the description box below. Also, if you'd like to join us on, over on Patreon, check out the description box below. 
But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for, for our next reading for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ha, <laughs>